Well, welcome um, to part three of four um, of um, our um, presentation or workshop on the 3D floor planner. Um, today, we're going to speak about the conceptualizing of the plants. We are um, going to um, divide it into a couple different stages. If you have been part um, of this workshop prior, you already know that we have sp uh, spoke about scanning the space or create the space. Um, if you have not, you can um, get our recordings from those sessions at the end of um, this workshop. If you would like, just get in touch with us and we will give you the information to rewatch our recordings. Um, today, I am joined by my colleagues, Natalie and um, Flora, and we are going to present, uh, present oh, Viviana is here as well. Um, she's also going to assist us um, with this process. Um, yeah. Um, then let's get started with the agenda we are going to start um, with a five minute introduction into um, how a kitchen is designed there's a little questioning round we're wanting to involve you in this process so feel free to um, unmute you and then join um, in on answering the questions i will ask we're going to then um, have a short little video of a life-size walkthrough what is possible with the 3d floor planner app and then um, Flora is going to feature um, demo this particular bit. Um, and at the end, you can arrange a training call or even give us your takeaways from our today's call. Right, then let's get into it. Um, please unmute yourself, be ready to answer questions. Feel free to join in. Um, yeah, um, why would someone actually renovate their kitchen? What would be your intention to do so? You can also write into the chat if you'd like, if you don't want to speak. Hi. Hi. Do you hear me? <laughs> yes, we hear you. It's all very magical. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, of course you want a new kitchen. Who doesn't want a new kitchen? The whole world wants a new kitchen. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think that someone wants a new kitchen? Well, you know, like there is maybe you are come up to a certain age in your life where you think, you know, I need to you know, jazz it, jazz it up with a kitchen <laughs> or you're moving house or, you know, like the, 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 the old kitchen is breaking into pieces because it was Ikea anywhere. And now we're doing the real thing, et right. cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah. So we have some upgrades, uh, both in terms of lifestyles or uh, going into a new phase in your life. What else will um, prompt someone to renovate their kitchen? I'd say a better functionality, better light. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. We have Those Fiona some... in the chat as well saying to modernize. So if someone's looking to update their existing kitchen, they're looking for a change. That's a good reason as well. Mm. Why right. would we update our kitchen, Lake? Sorry, didn't catch that. Oh, sorry. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> oh, I think you now you muted yourself again. Sorry, I didn't realize I was on. <laughs> oh, please uh, keep yourself off mute and then you can just answer the questions if you have um, anything to participate to the conversation as well. I think we are a small enough uh, group to have a discussion rather than typing in the chat today. Yeah, sorry, I just came in yeah. late. That, yeah, yeah, no problem at all. But it was mainly, I mean, I, if I understand rightly, why they would uh, renovate. So there's been yeah. damage to the property of some sort. Um, and, and yeah, and they yeah. usually want to. Oh. Yeah. That's it. Then um, let's move, move on to the um, uh, next uh, question. Um, how could using the 3D floor planner help communicating this end goal? It is clear, clear and concise, and you know what you're doing, and the client can follow you. Sort of, of course, you know it's fantastic. I mean, it it goes without explaining, really. <laughs> right. Yeah, visualizing helps a lot. Yes. We also yeah. have in the chat many clients cannot visualize how the cabinet, etc., would look like. Yeah. I think uh, from an interior designer perspective, you are obviously very creative in your mind and your imagination as well. And not everyone have that gift, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes being able to use uh, technology to help translate that. 
Yeah, but with this system, you can't really show the client. I mean, you can show the configuration, but you can't show what it looks like because it's so limited in what there is available. I mean, add line drawings, that's good. And then you could add surface images separately, probably, or something like that. But it needs sort of like an all round help to be able to communicate the details, I think. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. It's just good to know. Yeah. Right. Um, anything to add here? No? Okay. Then let's move over to the next question. Um, what other benefits are there in drawing up the kitchen as a 3D model? Well, for me, first of all, I can see what mistakes I've made and quickly rectify them. Oh, la la. That's the, for me always the most important. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that I sort of are on spot, right, with at least, you know, what I'm suggesting. And then the client can then say, I like it or I don't like it. That's not bothering me so much. I can then change it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So being able to catch, um, yeah, quote unquote, mistakes right early. Yeah. Yeah. Or mis misunderstandings or misunderstandings, yeah. overseen because it's so much about details. It's like the bathroom yeah. also, you know, it's like, oh, bathroom mm -hmm. is a sink in a toilet. Oh my God, I've been trying to even get the gear together in right sizes for a week now. And wow. why do you think it's important to be able to catch uh, misunderstandings early? Yeah, but that's extremely important. That's one of the most important uh, elements, I think, in any communication. And especially with a client who pays money uh, and who trusts you and who has certain expectations to meet those expectations realistically is really, really important. Mm -hmm. And you were mentioning trust and money there as yeah. well, right? Yeah. yeah. Any other benefits in terms of drawing a 3D model when you're designing a kitchen? Well, of course, there is beneficial to the, the, the people who will make the kitchen. Uh, yeah. so it becomes a three and way in what way would you see what way say that one more time i said so it becomes a three-way conversation it's not yeah. just a client, client it's it's also the, the, the and, and they, have, they have another perspective and it's a obviously yeah so that that links to spotting mistakes and uh what's feasible uh and other and other questions in in, in the materials that are more build raw building materials if uh yeah so, so to involve everyone in the conversation and to, to get everyone on the same uh, page uh, regarding where you're moving forward uh, and also being able to go back to it, to adapt it mm. as, as you find, because yeah, you want to spot mistakes in advance, but you also have to accept that there will be changes and there will be mistakes along the way. And you're trying to avoid them to save time and money to everyone, but you also need that as a as what you go back to to mm. redesign as you move true yeah so kind of like a part of the communication one block of the communication i guess yeah yeah all right um and what are some um, challenges of a design for of designing a kitchen what is it that you have difficulties with mm -hmm. <laughs> Detail, detail, detail. <laughs> the fine details. Yeah, the detail. The exact yeah. measurements are really mm. important. The you know fitting, fitting everything that the client wants in the space that they have is often you know uh, it's like client often thinks that they have space for everything uh, yeah. all, all the recycling bins plus a large stove plus like all of this and but actually you know you so uh, yeah that that kind of detail in how making prioritizing what's actually uh, what the client want in, in their kitchen totally yeah that's true we also have in the chat uh, so many technical details in the kitchen mm -hmm. what else making making sure the kitchen fits in the the actual room as well quite all, quite all the space mm. you know, very few people have a kitchen that is a single room anymore so mm. he's making sure that the proportion of the um, space that's intended for the kitchen fits in with mm -hmm. the rest of the yeah. build. 
happen. Totally, totally agree. That's a really so basic. And you take these for, things for granted, but it's mm -hmm. the basic things that you really need to have an eye on, in my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you get them wrong, everything goes wrong. It's like breathing. If you breathe incorrectly, you get ill. Basta così. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Also, the access to the utilities, like yeah, the gas, the the drains, the like where they are and how how it's going to cost more if you want to move things around or or mm. use use the existing channels, uh, and the fan, the extractor fan as well is is always a uh, you know you've got to nail that one soon I find because it can take a lot of space in the cupboard and uh, also how how it's going to operate and what, yeah. what's the what mm -hmm. does the client want and what's the building regs and all that so the, these these machines and utility are um really useful uh to to put in the in the 3d floor plan i guess in a 3d model mm -hmm. yeah. anything else to add okay moving on to the next question how could using the 3d floor planner help with someone of these challenges So we had fitting everything in the space, making sure that the intended space in the room for the kitchen actually fits the rest of the room. Um, having access to all the utilities, the exhaust fan, um, all the details, all the measurements. Mm. How can the 3D floor plan help? It kind of explodes everything, doesn't it? And it makes it in, in, in reality and like we're all going towards this AI scary thing but it's it's people want that more and more they want to feel they want that experience so it's being in that place and really seeing yeah. and feeling it and it yeah. immediately excites the customer to see and it gives that kind of authority that we know what we're doing and what we're talking mm. about as opposed yeah. I mean really we we get so used to this flat 2d plan and think they can really visualize this so and being well, they can't. Yeah. No, and we we because we've learned that way, and they mm. just look at it like I mean I know how it was for me, so yeah, it really really helps them actually be in the space. Mm. As a, so yeah, so that's from a client's perspective, why do you think it's beneficial to be in the space? As you were saying, well, like they feel the space is there, mm. like walk through it. They feel mm. it's that kind of walk through that feeling, and they can see like obviously putting colors together how will they look those colors as opposed to just a technical drawing and seeing it looks pretty but they they'll actually feel that they're in it and how it will fit and being like I think what Simon was saying was that they they having more functions in the space now um and it's a, it's very emotive a kitchen it's where they live and breathe <laughs> and um they, they're not just using it as a, a just a functional they mm. use it as an emotive place eat the children are involved everything's linked yeah so, yeah i guess it's empowering as well for the client because they 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 feel more that they're contributing along the process instead of you know going oh yeah I, i've got this idea in my mind or i'm not sure but i'm mm -hmm. looking forward to knowing what it looks like whereas they mm -hmm. have another stepping stone uh to 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 use and to to yeah they they're given a voice to rearrange her before it's implemented and in terms of the end goal and during the process as well what would you say is the benefits of having the client contributing already in the beginning of the process mm -hmm. and feeling that engagement countless <laughs> yeah. don't spend all that time in our head in our design head and thinking it's all about impressing the client with what we have we're it's a joint kind of handshake with them and yeah guided through and we've done this together yeah and they're it's a participation really it's sort of it's their life it's not my life it's their life it's yeah. So yeah and I'm thinking as well like after the product is done if the client feel like they have you know been involved a lot during the process and you have you know showed them things early on that they you know, hopefully we'll feel very um, satisfied with the process, not just the end result, but also then spreading, you know, positive word of mouth about how it was to work together with you, right? So yeah. super powerful experience from a client's perspective as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They like to feel that they've actually done it. <laughs> uh, yeah. The whole thing, isn't it? Um, 
and it's nice for us to say oh they feel so good about it that they're proud of it that they've actually done it <laughs> we're just there to guide them as such so. yeah yeah exactly yeah. that is so true yeah, yeah. good yeah. good questions wow really make you think <laughs> no it's good it's really good uh and I think that's also like how you can help your business to stand out, right? Um, like it's all about making sure that the client feel, like you said, being the leading voice in the project by someone that is guiding them, right? And what tools do you have to use in order to guide the client to know what they want? Because I think that's from a client's perspective, it's really hard to know what you want because I don't have that visual gift of the interior designer, which is the reason why I hire someone to help me with my project. Mm -hmm. But if I then can use technology to like communicate to get the client on somewhat the same level as myself, yes. and then the client can also feel trust and at ease knowing that we are communicating on the same level, I think that's priceless, like you were saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, moving on to our uh, next part of this um, demonstration is a um, presentation with a short little clip. Um, this video shows you how you can utilize the mobile app for a life-size walkthrough um, um, feature. Um, as soon as I start this video, I would appreciate Hello, if, you know, if you can hear it. Are you able to hear the sound? Yes. Welcome to another House Pro video tutorial. Today we'll be covering how to use the new life-size walkthrough in the House Pro mobile app. With this life-size walkthrough, you can now show your clients in real time what a design will look like in the space you're working on. To begin, click on the triple bar on the top left corner of the app and select 3D floor plans. Next, press the new augmented reality button beside the floor plan you want to display. The direction of the green and white dot in this view represents the perspective you'll start with when beginning the walkthrough. Use two fingers to zoom in and out and to change the orientation of the room. Use one finger to change the position of the dot. When you're all set, press next in the top right corner. After scanning the floor of the room, you'll officially begin the life-size walkthrough. Simply point your device around the room you're in and your 3D floor plan will be overlaid into the real world space. If the room isn't quite aligned right, press the reposition button in the bottom right corner of your screen to adjust the position of the floor plan. Using the new House Pro life-size walkthrough, you can reduce confusion about your plans and help your clients get your vision faster, saving time and headaches. We're excited to get this new update in your hands and hope this video tutorial will help you get one step closer to wowing your clients. Yeah, there are a number of apps like this around already. I've looked into. Um, this one is included in your program as well. But that's good. But you know what? What I want to ask you guys is, you know, like monkey coming along now asking monkeys questions is you do, how it works is that you do first your 2D plan on, a, on your house portal, then you do it in a doll's house version and then you can use it in the app, right? Or how does it work? So in general, um, you can create a 2D floor plan. The dollhouse option is not necessarily something you need to work with. You can also okay. just work with the 2D floor plan. As soon as you have created that floor plan, it is ready to be used in a, um, the AR feature in the app. Oh, amazing. Oh. Wow, magic! <laughs> amazing. Uh, it's actually much easier than what uh, our brain likes it to do. Our brain wants to make it something very complicated because yeah. it's artificial reality. And yeah. we were hearing it earlier that it's, you know, something scary. Um, but it's take, you know, a few times when you um, try with your phone, but it's literally just like walking in the space with your phone. It's yeah. amazing. I love magic. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. It's really cool. All right. Oh. Hello, and welcome to another House Pro. Let's move on. We have a little feature demo prepared. This, this part will, uh, Flora will take over. Um, Flora, are you ready? Yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, can you just go to the next slide? Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, so we will see together uh, the 3D floor plan uh, today with a focus on the kitchen. 
so what will we see exactly? We will see different things. We will see how to add two different floors. We will see all the kitchen, like a lot of kitchen products and sources. We will see materials and finish. Uh, and at the end, we will see how to share and export uh, the document. So let's go. I just need to share my screen, Philip. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so for the demo, I already have a kitchen here with a living room. Uh, but we will see together how to modify things and like how to create finishes and everything. So to start, as we are talking about the kitchen, I just wanted to show you where to find uh, everything related to the kitchen, right? So for that, you just, here you have three different tabs. So you have the structures with all the different structures like doors, windows, and everything. Then you have product uh, with the different products uh, that are organized per uh, rooms. And then you have sources with products that are from or catalog. It's, it's product with already a color and a texture, right? So here for the kitchen, uh, we will go to product here, and then we will uh, select kitchen product. And from this tab here, you have all the, everything you need to create a kitchen. So you have the appliances, cabinets, everything. So here, I won't go too much into it because we already have our plan. The goal here is to show you how to amend every uh, different item and structure. So for example, uh, if I take a door, so we are uh, on a structure. Uh, the door here, I have selected the door. We have a lot of different uh, choices of doors. I took this one, so French door single. Uh, I can modify the dimensions, of course, the width and the height. And then I am able to select the color. Uh, here I can take like chocolate brown, for example. So I change the color. And here we can also decide of the finish for the hardware. So if I click on it, let's say I want the gold one. Here you can see that the color here is gold. So this will be the same for every single item and structure uh, with different uh, informations and different like possibilities according to the to the project, right? So here, if I take, for example, um, a window, which is another structure. Again, I had different choices. I had different windows. Uh, I took this one, so the window uh, with two double hung. Uh, again, I can select the dimensions here. I can select the position from the floor, of course, because we're talking about a, a window. And I can decide the color and the finishes. Uh, then uh, let's talk about uh, the kitchen island here. The kitchen island will have uh, also a lot of different uh, possibilities. So you have here uh, different dimensions than you can choose. Uh, so of course, like previously, I choose a cabinet. So I choose this two double sided base island. Uh, I could have selected a different one. Okay, it's, uh, I have different selections. I decided to take this one. So in this one, I have all these dimensions available. I took the largest one. I have different panel style. So let's say if uh, like here I've selected the arced one, I can take the slab one, for example, that is very simple, like all flat. So here you see the difference. I can select uh, a color if I want. Uh, if I prefer, I can also just select uh, like, so we can here select paint color or otherwise you can just select uh, the pre-populated colors that we have here. Let's say I want a white oak, for example, here I go. So it's a different texture and color. And then we have different uh, finishes. Uh, so uh, like here, yes, here I will have other finishes. So I will be able to select uh, the worktop. So, this part here, if I want, uh, let's say the Arctic full marble, for example, but I have a large uh, selection of possibilities here. And 
I will be able to select the edge design here. So we are uh, with the bull nose right now. Can take, for example, the the east one here. You can see the difference of shape, right? Uh, and here you have the overhang that is very helpful. So here we have 40 centimeters, which is like everywhere in front and like in every uh, side of the kitchen island. Uh, but if I want to select, for example, uh, an overhang in front or back, left or right, it's possible as well. And here we have the selection for the hardware. Pause you there, Flora. Do we have yes, any questions sure. so far? Yes, of course. Is that clear so far? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Good. So here uh, you have the, the the hardware style here. So again, you have a large selection here. If I want to take something like the knob rectangular, for example, you can see here the difference. And then I can select uh, another color. Let's say I want the 16 nickel here. Here I go. So like, again, like all of this uh, is really like, uh, you have a lot of possibilities to so just play around with it uh, and see uh, what what you want to what you want to do. The idea is really that you 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 have the maximum of choices, right? Uh, then, as we are speaking about a kitchen, we will talk about the sink here. So I select the sink. So I always need to select it, right, uh, in order to like to be able to amend it. Uh, and we are on the door house. If we were on the floor plan, it will be very different. It would be like it would be like that. But here I really want to show you what it looks like. So when uh, we're talking about all, all that is finish related, the best way is to amend it on the dollhouse so that you can see literally what you're doing. Otherwise on the floor plan, you won't see it. The floor plan is here more to uh, be able to move the different things in your room. You won't be able to move the different items in the dollhouse. Uh, so in the sink here, up. Let's see what we can do. So again, I had a different, like a lot of different options uh, for the sink. Uh, one, I selected this one. So this two door farmhouse sink base cabinet. Uh, I can select the different dimensions again here. Uh, I took the largest one. Uh, then I can select here, uh, so the configuration. So do I want a double sink uh, or, oh no, this one is like for the for the cabinet. So let's see, here you go. So you have the configuration of the cabinet here. We take the farmhouse sink. Then here uh, you can select finish if you want for the panel style. If you want something, for example, if you want to leave it white like that, you don't select any color. Otherwise you can select a paint color or you can select like the pre-populated uh, materials and colors we already have. Laura, if you want to select multiple different cabinets in one go, is there a way to do that? And if so, how? Yes, so uh, to select all the different cabinets uh, you need, Oh, sorry, you just in the go kitchen. to base cabinet here multiple and different... you can select everything you want. Uh, you can all the little delay. <laughs> so, uh, as soon as you click on one of them, you are able to have the different options you have. Uh, sorry, Flora, okay. what I meant was, can I um like hold on to multiple different cabinets in the kitchen already? Yes, to, to change the color. Yeah. No. I, I don't know. Connections. No. Oh, I think we lost her. Let's lost see. Her. Anyway, I can see that we have some chats while she's joining. SketchUp takes a long time. Great that we can quickly amend existing item. Can we upload items for CAD file online at all? Uh, currently, no. Um, 
I know that they are working on like a lot of improvements always for the 3D floor planner. Um, a lot of designers are asking if they can use the items that they have clipped in the clipper tool in the 3D floor planner. And they cannot because those are 2D. Mm. However, the CAD one are in 3D, right? Uh, so that is a great uh, product request. So what I'll do, I'll uh, um, add that in and see uh, what and when it can happen. Okay. I came back. Uh, I just okay. turn off my camera. I think yes, it perfect. might be better for the, for the connection. Uh, so yes, here we are still uh, on uh, our sink. Uh, so we selected the different uh, dimensions, uh, the different uh, the panel style, uh, the finish. If I want to, uh, then I can decide uh, the worktop the worktop style. So here we are uh, in marble everywhere. But if I want, I can select a beige rest granite, for example to show you you see you have all around here uh that is changed so we will keep the marble for this one uh, for the overhang you can select the number of centimeters again you can select if you want it in front back left or right and you have uh, the hardware style here so again like here we are on a knob rectangular but i can select uh, the cylinder for example and you can see the difference you can select the, the color as well. Uh, we are on a double sink. If I wanted to have a single sink, I could just select single sink here. And uh, there I can select the different tab as well. So let's say I want a pull down traditional. Here you go, you can see the difference. Uh, so uh, this is it for the sink. Uh, then talking about uh, the kitchen, we have the splashback here. So if we click on it, uh, we have again all the, the different dimensions we, we want. I've extended it between uh, the oven and the fridge, but if I wanted to, I could uh, have it smaller. Uh, I can also have it uh, higher if I want. Uh, I can select the distance from the floor. Uh, I can select the width, uh, the height, the depth. And here we have all the different finishes. So there's a large uh, amount of choices, as you can see. So just navigating it to see all the different options that you, that you have. Uh, then uh, we wanted to give you some tips. Uh, so I don't know if some of you already uh, used uh, this uh, tool deeply, but if you did, you probably noticed that uh, you can't add two different floors in one room. In So like have more than one type of floor in one room. So what uh, we suggest you to do uh, is, so this little tip is to select uh, an arc here. So you go mm -hmm. going to and you're going to wall openings here and you will be, can you hear me well? Uh, yes. I think if you go back to 2D on floor plan. Yes. And maybe actually draw a new room if possible so we can see like how that is done because you need to draw a wall, right? In order to have the wall opening. Yeah, you need to draw, exactly. So uh, let's say I want uh, to create a new wall here, a new room. Okay, up. What our system so, does in that sense is to guide you with helplines. So th those are assisting you to create that um, wall. You can, of course, use it. Yeah. Or not. So here you have created your wall, right? Uh, you want to open it. So by opening your wall, you will be able to select two different floors and it will look like it's in the same room. So I will select uh, one of these uh, wall openings. I will take an interior door frame. So I just put it there. And then I will open it uh, like my uh, interior door frame will take the same size as my wall. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So here my wall is 4.14. So I will just open. How many of you have already started using the 3D floor planner or played around with it anything? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what has been uh, the challenges so far? Because it takes some time to get used to it. Yeah, it takes a long time for me to find even, you know, like the basics. I don't know, but I'm particularly blind. I think when it comes to the basic, really thinking about the three different steps, right? We have the first one is the structure, whereas the walls, the flooring, um, the wall opening, staircases, windows and doors. So just like creating like the rough draft of the room. And then the second one will be the products, which is the placeholder products. So initially they are like white products that you then can do something with. So you can then select the finishes or you can select the different colors. And then you have the sourcing function, right? Which is the catalog that we have on house with already like finished products, so to speak. Um, but what do you think? Uh, yeah. What else is the challenges part with the 3D floor planner? I, when I did it, I, I tried to put too much detail in with it because I was marrying it into a big room. Mm -hmm. and the client was trying to shoehorn a corner into one part of the, <laughs> of the kitchen, into one part of the room. Mm. Uh, and I was struggling a little bit. Uh, and I reached out to... Um, Saver? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I just had literally forty minutes with him, and we, we sorted it all out online while we were there. So it was great. But after yeah. having that with him, I've then done a couple since, and no problem at all. So okay, let me see. Yeah, I think it's like I said, it takes uh, just some time to get used to it and knowing like where to look for what, right? Like where do I find my drawing pencil to be able to create that new wall? Where do I find the structure part? How do I adjust things? on the little pop-up window that we see on the right-hand side. Um, yeah. I, I I used it in a consultation with clients, too, mm -hmm. uh, but it was uh, before, it was only yeah, about three yeah. months ago. Um, and um, I, it's probably sorted now with, with the, the app on, on measuring on the phone, but the height of the ceiling was 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 an issue that I had to enter all of all of it and it was it was difficult to get like the whole uh, yeah ground floor so yeah it had to sort of ignore the ceiling height a bit <laughs> so it was giving mm -hmm. a, an idea of 3d but not the floor uh, all the same on one floor that that's an issue I had so I'm really grateful for that tip that we just had there yeah to the rooms to get different floors and the other thing is moving things around wasn't that easy like picking up the fridge and putting it somewhere else instead mm. um, on a consultation with the client if you wanted to mm -hmm. do that I am but it must, must be something that I need to get used to as well yeah I was I was, I was apologizing for being new to the, <laughs> mm -hmm. to the, to the thing so the, those are the things at the top of my head that I found but overall it was still like uh they they, they loved having that to, mm -hmm. to, to, look, to look through Thank you so much for sharing. And I think the ceiling height uh, has been released now. You can actually also have two different uh, or multiple different ceiling heights, uh, which was uh, not possible prior. Um, I'll take back the feedback regarding like moving items around. That one can be even easier. Um, and then Flora, yes, do you want to walk us through now what you have done? Yes, sure. Uh, so here, uh, now you have your uh, your room that has been opened by the interior door frame. So what I did is on the floor plan, I just uh, selected. So I've imported my interior door frame on the wall. And then with the different dimensions, I just used the width uh, of my room and the height of the room as well. So to know the height, just to remember the height you choose, just select another wall, uh, check the, the amount you choose, and then just put it there in the height section. So here, uh, no, we have like another room, which looks like it's the same room, right? 
And so we are able to select different floors according to the space. So to select a floor, you just need to, to go to the door house where we are to click on the floor you want to select. And then here you can select flooring and you have a large uh, amount of different choices between woods, tiles and carpets. So let's say we, we want the hickory plant floor. Here we go. So you have a lot of different options that you can explore by yourself here. So here is for the, for the floors. Uh, it will be the same for the walls. So if you want to change uh, the color of the walls, you just in the dollhouse again, you select uh, the, the wall you want uh, to select the, the color for. You just go into color here. And then if you want, let's say something that is uh, in blue, for example, you select the blue here and you will have a lot of different options for blue. You can see, Flora, that we are on Deluxe. Is Deluxe the only one that we can select between? Yes, so you have here two choices between Deluxe and Benjamin Moore. Perfect. Wow, you have Benjamin Moore. That's an endless universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Endless possibilities in terms yeah. of colors. Yes, yes, yes. Happy children, happy playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think I'm done with uh, all that is structure and like uh, items related. Do you have any questions? Yeah, um, lots. <laughs> lots of questions. So, yeah, I will share my link uh, in a couple of minutes. I will share my link uh, so you would for my to my calendar. And if you want to book a meeting with me, we can just uh, dive into it together, and I can like make you another demo that will be like longer and where you can also use the tool on your end. So no worries about that. I know it's a lot of informations. Uh, Laura, how do you take off, where do you click to take off the front wall so that you have a view into your room? Sorry to ask such basics, but I was wondering. No, no worries. Uh, you mean... Uh, you know the front door, the front wall where you have your door now. See, yes, exactly. Well, how do you get, get off this wall? If you want to delay the wall. Yeah, no, just... I think they, what Christina is asking, how do you zoom in and out from the room? Ah, yes. You click out the wall, you know, the, so at some points you click out the wall and then you put it back again. Yes. Yeah, so basically it's just because I'm playing. So in the dollhouse, you're playing with your mouse, basically. Uh, so I don't know if you have like a proper mouse or a pad, but uh, it's probably more convenient on the pad, but you can do it with the mouse as well. You just select uh, somewhere on the screen and then you are able to move your plan like that. And when you are moving your plan like that, I'm keeping the walls, but if I'm doing like this, so I'm having more of a front view, it will remove the wall automatically. But I still have my wall, right? I'm not deleting it. No. It's just, let's say, the, the way uh, the view of the dollhouse is working. Ah, okay, cool. So if I'm up, I keep the walls. If I'm in front, I'm able to see behind. Yeah. Just to, to see what, you, what you, you did with the plan to give a better understanding of the room for the client. Super, thank you. It's like no a worries. drag and drop system. You drag, or you you grab it with your mouse. You move around and let it uh, let it go again to um, okay. make it stationary again. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Philip. Sure. So something I wanted to show you uh, is how to share the plan with the client. Super important. Mm -hmm. uh, so you just need to click on share, and here you can uh, copy a link uh, to share with the client. So to show you, if I paste this link here is what the client will see if you're sharing the link with him because this uh, link is online all the modification you will add to your plan will be saved so it's just one link per plan you don't need to send again the link which is like very convenient so mm -hmm. that the the client will see the floor plan view the dollhouse view as well and he will see also the walkthrough like you do can, can he move it around like you do? Yes, he can. 
you wow. can definitely and you, you can as well it's yeah. just like playing with the with your pad or your mouse basically okay cool. what you're currently seeing is actually exactly what the client is getting on their side so if they open yes. up the link this is exactly this they can zoom out zoom in they even could change like the um, um from the metric system to um, imperial um for the measurements if they would like to um, so this is basically exactly what they do. Exactly. Like the, you have access to it as soon, like the client will have access to it as soon as you share with him or her the link. Oh, wow. It's really as simple as that. So the best way for us, uh, to, to do it is really to share with the link because the, the client will have access to these three different views, right? So it's yeah. very convenient. Then if you uh, prefer to share a PDF uh, with the client, it's also possible. So if you want a PDF of the floor plan, just stay on the floor plan, go into actions, print here. Here you have the pop-up appearing and you can uh, save as a PDF here. If you want to do it on another format, let's say you want to do it on the dollhouse, it will be the same. Uh, the same thing just need to keep in mind that the the pdf that you will create will be generated from the angle you choose so if i choose this angle i go to actions print save as a pdf it will be this angle that i will have on my pdf so you just choose which angle you want to show to the to the client basically thank you can I ask a question? Sure. If you're showing, uh, let's say, three options to your client, which I like to do, do you need to send three different links, right? Yes, exactly. You will need, but like something very convenient is that you can duplicate your plan when you are here. Uh, you can say, okay, I want to duplicate this plan. If it's just, for example, different colors, but you're keeping the structure of the place. You just duplicate and then do your plans and share three different links. Okay, thank you. No worries. Okay, I think. Any other we'll... questions? No? Okay, then no. I will move over to um, presenting again. Can you see my screen? Uh, Sue? You might need to reshare because it's still adjusting back mood. Yes. Okay. okay. Stop the screen share. Let's do that again. No, still not working. It has seemed to be paused. Let me a second. Please excuse me. I'm sharing in the group chat uh, the link to my agenda. So feel free to book a meeting. We are here for that. Happy to make a demo with you. You just click on it and you will be able to select the time that works best for you. It's in the chat. Thank you for it. Now that we have discovered all those tools, we have that nice feature from um, um, Flora. What do you think? Are you confident enough to make use of this tool now for your next client or for the client that you currently work with? Oh, I have to do this a million times before I will do <laughs> Okay. Well, we are happy to offer me uh, trainings on that. So um, I'm free to have this link copied. It doesn't copy that link. I think if you I just click just... on it, Christina. Huh? It should be directly if you just new click new. on it. Ah, so I can go. All right. So I pass it. Okay. From here on, you can save it. Oh, then I can save it. Thank you, guys. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I would say that I I um yeah I will I will use it um because I think learning by using it is 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 what's going to happen and there's only so many spare hours that we have so hypothetical cases in my house I'll do it but you know I I think um yeah I think I'm comfortable to I do I do some meetings on zoom as well with the clients uh, that i think that's when it's it's really useful um 
but yeah I do feel a little bit hesitant still in the sense that you know it's technology so uh you don't you don't want to <laughs> to go wrong and to make you look bad but I think you got to go over that because people I think will understand that you're playing with the with a tool and then you can always uh yeah I mean basically I, I think there there will have to be some improvement in how I use it and and uh make 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 getting really comfortable with it uh but but I, i'd bring it on to to the table straight away yeah yeah and we have a few worries about technology in the chat as well <laughs> uh and i think uh like a knowing that even us uh who works with technology are always a bit hesitant learning a new system so that is just the way that the normal human brain works yeah. uh but also like i said the brain loves to complicate things. Yeah. And the thing with the 3D floor plan on house is that it's a very simple tool to use. It's done in a way so it quick and easy can create something, a rough sketch. It's not as detailed as SketchUp, but it's also not designed to be because we want it to be accessible for like professionals like yourself that just want to have like a quick tool to create a visual aspect to be able to share that with a client, right? And it's um, advanced enough to be beneficial both for yourself and for the client. And just like you were saying here, Valerie, as well, like the only way of learning is by doing. So mm -hmm. by investing a, a little bit of time in practicing and also daring to make mistakes, nothing can break. You can click on absolutely everything. Um, and again, we're here. So book in training calls with us, uh, Simon, great that you reached out when you needed help. And like I said, it gets quick, like we are fast to respond. Uh, so yeah, take advantage of that. There are human beings behind the company that are super willing to help. Uh, we have, we'll definitely use it. Uh, I think it's really help even on the first visit. Yeah. Which can save a lot of time. Some of the system I looked at are quite confusing. Uh, this will work well for my creative brain. Perfect. Uh, definitely use it. Thank you. Amazing. Um, would you say that this floor planner can improve your um, overall workflow? Yes. Yeah. Good to hear. Anything to add to that? Um, I think we have a lot of Jesses. Yeah. Perfect. That's that's what we are aiming for here. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I spoiled this question a little bit. Do you have an actual project where you're going to benefit from now? Yes. Yes. So I think that's especially like if you have a product you're working on, that's when it's super beneficial for yourself to book in the training call as well. So you can actually practice on a real project. Yeah. Uh, you can get started with someone and then you know, continue trying with yourself and then also reaching out whenever you get stuck. So I really want to emphasize this, like there is no reason to suffer in silence uh, and trying to figure out things by yourself because that sometimes can take, you know, a really long time, right? So reach out to support. We are here to help. We can get on the phone. We can get on a Zoom call. We can send a quick recording in terms of your question. So just know that we are here to help. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now that we are at the end of our conversation, uh, we would like um, to know your takeaways. And we have a little uh, short um, survey, um, which um, is now in the chat. You can open it by just clicking onto it. And we would be happy if you can answer those questions that will help us to improve. If there's something on your mind, um, what you can think of. Yeah, well, what's your takeaway from today's session? That it goes too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll send you the link for the recording as well. So everyone has it. It's at the end of the landing page. Send that. And there will be a new workshop on Thursday. 22nd, same time. Where we today. will go over the 
live size walkthrough as well. So basically the next step, what do you do when you have created the kitchen and how do you interact in the client space with the already created um, 3D floor plan as well? Have a great presentation, a little fast. Yes, lots of information. Um, amazing. Well, everyone, thank you so much. And I hope to see you next week. And if not, then Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everyone.